Welcome back. We are going to not fight Mega Bowser. What? What? Go fight Mega Bowser. I will in a minute. What's, what's stopping you? Things. Why don't, why don't you want to go fight Mega Bowser? Oh god. Last time I saw. I always thought they sounded weird. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah, I hear them. <laughs> I was gonna say, the last time I saw, like, anthropomorphic uh, sunflowers this large was in Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, yeah! <laughs> no, they weren't even that big, though. They were, like, this size. Yeah, they were about this size, but, like. Just kind of a PTSD kind of moment. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna pollinate my stems? I can't even remember what happened. I don't want to think about it. The bee pollinated. Right. With the sunflower. Right. We don't. And she's like, fancy, I'm going like a little bounce, conquer, honey. Yeah. Well, and then you bounce to but, get money. I mean, you know, I was trying not to think about it. Thanks for giving me the whole play You're by welcome. play. <laughs> Those guys are bad. Yeah, they look pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> they look like electric Koopas. I know how to kill them, though. Mean electric they Koopas. Like that, and then I soak them with water, and they get electrocuted. I see. Maybe they shouldn't be playing with electricity then. They probably shouldn't. Didn't their moms ever tell them that? Electricity their mama and water Koopas? specifically. Come on, shoot me. Shoot me. You know you want to. Ha ha! You know, I feel like I might have made it to this stage. This seems kind of familiar. Mecha too. Bowser? I don't know. I honestly cannot remember how far I made it when I did it's play this game. Floating in water. Mario Jesus. Evil Mario Jesus. Get those water effects, man. It's like a Dragon Ball thing. He's charging. That's really good for GameCube. Yep. And then, and he plays Moses. Oh my God, he's Jesus and Moses. <laughs> I was gonna say if you combo could, I was finisher. Gonna say, I was gonna say if you combine Jesus and Moses, you could get Moses. Jesus. You can't combine them! Oh. They have the same, like, end syllable. You'd have to have, like, Mo Jesus. Like, G Moses. I'm not, like, sure about, like, Judaism, except basically what I know from South Park. Uh, then you might know more than me. Um, but, like, Moses is, like, the deity. Like, the closest. Because they don't believe that Jesus is God. Wasn't he the son of God? Well, yeah, but like the son of God, but the Holy Trinity. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But they don't believe he was the son of God. Hmm. Like, we believe he was good, but <laughs> he wasn't our Messiah. I see. Kind of thing. I don't Even know, though man. the Jews are like the chosen people. Of the Lord. Whatever. I see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot Mecha Bowser with uh, bullets now. Oh, God. Where did you get bullets? And... From a roller coaster. That old turtle guy or whatever he was out front give you bullets. He gave me missiles, and I'm free ride on a roller coaster. Oh god! A bullet bill approaches from behind. Got it. It's a good thing bullet bills are weak to water. Yeah. A direct hit. It seems like this this would be the kind of fight that would be kind of annoying. What are you talking about? This is easy. Well, when you're good at it. <laughs> Look at this. I'm already done. Really? I mean, it's about. I thought it was three. I don't know, man. I feel like I might have had trouble with this just because, like, the bullet bills. Hit you from here. Damn it. I shot you. Oh, I yeah. hit them! <laughs> I'm gonna do it while I'm doing a spinny jump. Are you? I'm gonna try. Now you got another bullet bill approaching from behind. Damn it. Oh, another one. It. I can do it, I can do it. I can do it! That would be pretty, uh, pretty epic shot. Those bullet bills don't actually hurt that much. All things considered. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sure, oh, a lot of them, though. There he is. 
There it is. That's it. Uh, uh. Now comes the cliffhanger. And the. I guess not cliffhanger. The twist? Yeah. It's like, Mario, hi, you win. <laughs> Suck my brush. <laughs> It'd be funny if you painted her face. Now we're gonna have a little accent right here. Yep. Bowser Jr. playing Bob Ross. <laughs> Leave my mama alone, you bad man. I won't let you kick Mama Peach away. Mama? Dun dun dun. Mama Peach. <laughs> How could you not know that? <laughs> I think this is the first one that like canonly defines Bowser Jr. as his has like his son because they had the Kooplings. Uh huh. Egad. Yes, bum bum bum. He's a weapons dealer, man. Yep. And why would an old man give you a weapon? <laughs> He's got gums. It's adorable. You pest! <laughs> ah, such child friendly language. I miss those days. I saw graffiti. And it was like a seven year old trying to be like. Yeah, I'm badass. I'm gonna write graffiti on this dumpster, and it's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. And I took a picture of it because it was so perfect. It just says, "Huge fart." <laughs> <laughs> Man, that kid was so bad. I know. He's so bad. That kid's so gangster. Writing a huge fart on a dumpster. I feel like honestly, if that's what most graffiti said, I wouldn't have as much of a problem with it. I just thought it was hilarious. It's just, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, this, oh, that, uh, huge fart. I also feel like it would be hilarious. I mean, I've, I've had I've had jokes like this before about like if you broke into someone's house, kind of thing, and left something there that wasn't, and there. you just left something nice for them, like leave some flowers for them on the table or something. Like give them a new if, TV. if they're not allergic to flowers, give them a new TV. Yeah, give them something nice, something useful, something. Or uh, you mug someone on the street and then you. You put a whole bunch of money in their wallet and then let them go. Isn't that what kind of what they did in uh, Fight Club? Yeah, sort of. Only he didn't like. He's like, your life's gonna end right now. What was your dream? Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, I wanted to be a veterinarian. Yeah. Why aren't you doing it? Yeah, go live your dream or I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you go follow your dream right now. I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> yep. And then he's like, see, that guy's gonna have a better life now. Yep. <laughs> Guess gonna have a great day tomorrow. <laughs> um. Shoot, I was trying to think of somewhere. Kind of lost my point. We were talking about before that. Uh, Fight Club? No, before Fight Club. Before I was, I was talking about other crimes. But what was, what was the crime we were talking about? Before Leaving that? something at a house that wasn't supposed to be there. Uh, but before that, um, God dang, we lose our thoughts too easily on this show. I was leaving, leaving something at a house. Yeah, but there was something... Like, I brought that up because I was going to go somewhere with it. Why didn't you go there? Because we had a conversation. You started talking to me about Fight Club, and then I forgot what we were talking about. Little oh, bike. graffiti. No. Oh. I feel like it'd be fun if graffiti artists went around and did stuff like, Have a nice day! <laughs> Apparently there's one in Portland that does that. Like, he's like an unknown graffiti artist. But he, like gets like paints like these giant murals and then signs it and mm. then like nobody knows like who it is but it keeps like showing up <laughs> and, and making like new stuff that's awesome cool i just wanted to be like pleasant stuff though have a nice day yeah i don't know what else you could say that'd be particularly nice to like just normal people nice clothes yeah i like your haircut <laughs> Just like, like big old graffiti that says nice things. Compliments people. Oh, that'd be great. 
Or like, you know, instead of like those uh, like graffiti things that say like, get out, yeah. it says, welcome! <laughs> No, I think there was one that we had talked about like a while ago. It said hell. Yeah. And it's like, let's graffiti that graffiti and make it say, hello. Yeah, just put an O on the end. And like, now everywhere you go, it just says, hello. <laughs> People are going to be like, wow, this place isn't gangster at all. This is nice. Nice neighborhood. Why are you not helping, Mario? No momentum. Because I don't have... Hey, look the at that background. Isn't that like Yoshi Story? Yeah. No, it's Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island. I knew it was one of those. I always get them confused. Uh oh. Jeez. Okay. Just take it easy. I'm trying. It's that camera. Mm -hmm. Alright, ready? Oh, I see the other thing down there. Yeah. It's just sort of a safety net for yeah. you. Yeah. Gotta wait for this to. to... Go! Yep. Run, Mario, run! Slide, Mario, slide! That's also a Fight Club reference. That was... Wait, what? <laughs> Do you remember uh, early on in the movie when he was going to support groups? And they said, find your spirit animal. And he had a support animal that... Or his spirit animal was a penguin. And it looked at him and was like, slide! I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't. I, I, that was. I, I don't remember that. That was before Marla. Oh, yeah, Marla. Ugh, Marla. It's like a cancer on the world. At least they didn't make her look like all, you know. She looked like a person having yeah, a tough time. Yeah, she looked like a person. Yeah. Not like some, you know, slut from Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's a pretty harsh statement. I know what you mean. <laughs> like, if, if she had been, like, you know, some super attractive girlfriend type character, right? Like, it wouldn't have been the same story. Like, if it was, like, Scarlett Johansson, you're like, no, I don't believe that. Yeah. Especially because he, like, keeps, was, he keeps turning her down throughout the movie. Who was popular at that time? Um, uh, Angelina Jolie? Yeah, I guess she was probably around at that time. It's like, yeah, if Angelina Jolie was Marla, I'm like, no, that's nice, but yeah. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah. You know, Marla, I think it was important that Marla at the beginning was an unlikable character. Like, even towards the end, she was still kind of an unlikable character. Yeah. But you started to be like, okay, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Mm hmm I mean, she wasn't perfect, but nobody was. That's the point of the movie. Yeah. Oh, wait. Watch this. Fight Club spoilers. <laughs> Hey, someone just threw you money for... Spraying water in their windows. Throwing water in their room, yeah. Yes, I'd love to work. I'm craving some bananas. She wants bananas. She's that weird... <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty boring side quest, because I oh, assume you can not. only carry one at it's, a time. It's right here. Yeah. But you have to do one at a time. Ah, shit, I fucked it up. Well, then do it better. You do that, right? Yep. I guess if you can jump the building, it's not quite as bad. It's just kind of annoying. Let go, Mario. Mario. Oh my god. <laughs> Mario did not want to put down those bananas. Mario's like, these are my bananas! Get your own! <laughs> I, well, I need the, the coins. My doctor says I need to get more potassium! <laughs> <clears throat> I need some more bananas. Yep. Instead of Yoshi's cookie, it's Mario's bananas. <laughs> <laughs> they got other ones too, like Mario's passion fruit. <laughs> Mario's chili peppers. Mario's pomegranate. That sounds like a, uh, like a band. Mainly because of the red hot chili peppers. Yeah. Mario's Chili Peppers. <laughs> Alright, give me some shit. Thanks, sweetums. Oh, blue coin. Cool. Alright, we'll do the other ones later. Cool. I think... Next time on Operation Pixel? Okay. 
Don't stare directly into the sun. Her tries. 